Pine and I are at uh, our local uh, DIY store. Well, actually, these fellas just uh, sell everything. And what we're looking for is netting. Uh, we're going to build a container net for the new fish so that we can keep a cycle going on the uh, fish farm. I basically said to mum and dad they have a choice. They can harvest all the fish and then uh, sort it all out and restock it and then in five months time um, sell them again or they can get it to a point where they can continuously sell fish. So in other words we've got a cycle of fish of different and varying sizes and uh, they think that's a good way to go. Personally so do I. It will give them a constant income stream so uh, we're buying netting and we're going to see if we can build some holding ponds. Now this is the stuff they use, this blue netting. At this point I don't know how much it is or uh, how much you get on a roll. As you can see these guys have just got everything in here. Such a great little store though. Well Pi's got a roll there and it's 520 baht. And she's not actually sure just how long it is, which is a bit strange. We know it's a metre high, which is fine, but I'm not sure how long it is. But she says she's going to buy that and she's going to make a, a holding pen and we'll see how big it is. Yep. Yeah, she just wants to buy the one first and just try it and see, see what happens. Which is a good idea because uh, we really don't know uh, at this point how big it will be. It'll be a start, you know, um, again, if they can get this cycle going where they've continuously got fish, uh, it's certainly the way to go. Today I want to give uh, a shout out to Lloyd. I'll leave you a link uh, in the description below to his channel. Thanks Lloyd for all the help and the tips. It really did help a lot. If you guys haven't seen Lloyd's channel, well again, uh, check the description and the link and uh, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. He's got a really good channel going on there, super family. So uh, enjoy that one. Well that's pie done, she's got her uh, bits and pieces. They're going to drain the old pond. It's going to be drained completely. Um, the fish will go in the holding pond for now. And then we'll sort, see about building a series of uh, holding pens within the old pond. I think that's what they want to do anyway, which for me would make perfect sense. You know, we've got the old pond there, and if we can sort it out and then uh, use it as a holding pen, or series of holding pens, it would be absolutely perfect. Well, I just had a look at the frog pen and only four have perished. So it's a bit of a relief. It's still four we didn't want to lose, but it was way better than the 27 that we lost yesterday. So, uh, yeah, what we've done is obviously um, helped an awful lot. But what we're going to do today uh, is to clean this out again, give it another flush out and uh, fill it up with rainwater again. And hopefully tomorrow we won't lose any. We're also going to see about uh, constructing that fish pen as well and see if that uh, that works. Again, you know, we've got to keep this cycle going. So every bit that we do will go towards helping a mum and dad. And uh, they're pretty much set now. I mean, there's not an awful lot to do. But once we get this in a cycle, it'll be absolutely perfect for them. It'll be way better than farming rice, that's a fact. Dad's actually pumping water out of here at the moment. He wanted to pump it into the rice fields, but there's already too much water in there. Why are they pumping out? Apparently the uh, water level is now a bit too high and it's making it a little bit difficult for the fish trader to harvest. So we're just gonna reduce it down by a bit and uh, make his life a little bit easier. Now, two days ago, my father-in-law seeded this rice field. Just two days and you can already start to see it turning green. Amazing, isn't it? just how quickly stuff grows here. They've got all sorts of plants and trees and fruits and vegetables going on. Unbelievable how much they planted. Yeah, taking shape nicely now. It's really, really pleased with it. 
I'm dying to get on the motorbike and try out this dead cat, I really am. But right now there's just so much going on. So uh, yeah, I'll have to hold off until uh, I do find a bit of spare time. But yet yeah, another successful day on the uh, fish farming. So absolutely brilliant. Couldn't be happier. Well, the fish traders have just been and they've harvested another 89 kilos. So 3,560 baht. Not bad, not bad at all. Well, pie has gone off to the farm with her mum to sort out the fish holding pen. They're going to make that. And Pai said to me, look, you need bread, milk and some batteries for your Tascam. Why don't you take the motorbike off to Chengzhen town, test out your dead cat and go and get the uh, bits and pieces you need. I thought, perfect. So I'll, off I went. Now, sitting on the bike with the new dead cam, it was perfect. I mean, the audio quality was just lovely. That is, of course, right up until the time I had pulled away. Yep. It's engine buzz, that's all you get as soon as I pull away and I'm going through the gears and it literally drowns out any other type of audio so you can't hear me at all. It is such a shame but I did suspect that was the case. So what to do? I really don't know at this point. I'm going to have to do some research and find out what uh, other motor vloggers have done to alleviate the problem. But I won't give up, I'll, uh, I'll keep on trying and see what happens. Well, I suppose I'll best get to the farm and give those guys a hand. There's plenty there to do, and uh, I want to see how this fish uh, holding pen is coming along. I'll catch you down the farm. Well, there's a strange thing. Pie's dad went into the uh, duck pen, and uh, obviously we've got chickens and ducks in there. And for some reason, a number of the chickens started attacking the little tiny baby ducklings. So they killed four of them. Dad's none too pleased about that. So Dad's just now kicked out all the chickens in the duck pen and he's going to keep them out of there. That's the first time I've ever seen a problem like that though. Normally they've got on just fine. Frog pen is all cleaned out, that's good. So fresh water in there as well for them. Again, we have four die, not good, but you know, better than losing 20, 30 of them as we did the other day. So hopefully that'll be the end of it. Um, yeah, we're gonna get losses in there. I mean, they eat each other for a start. I've got a funny feeling these frogs are gonna to prove to be quite a handful to, uh, to raise. But, you know, what are you gonna do? You gotta give it a go and see what happens. At least the saving grace is these fish are coming on a treat. And uh, again, another 89 kilos this morning. We'll start off with one pen and see how that goes. Again, the idea, if I can get these guys to uh, cycle it properly, there'll be a constant uh, stream of fish for sale. It means the guy that uh, is currently um, coming to buy the fish won't have to wait for three, four, five months to uh, come and get another load of fish. So we can keep him here permanently almost on the farm and uh, it gives him a source of income and of course it gives uh, Pye's mum and dad a, a steady source as well. So yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Right, going to get on with this and uh, give him a hand and see how this uh, fish pen works out. Well, as you can see, Mum and uh, Pi are busy working away on the uh, fish pen. They're just sewing in the bottom now. So basically it uh, creates a, a, a completely sealed cage. It'll stop the bigger fish from eating them and uh, it'll be easier for us to manage feeding them as well. And then when obviously they get to a bigger size, we'll let them go into the uh, main pond. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, great progress, isn't it? It's coming along just nicely. This is, this is one of the saving graces of the farm is our fish pond. It's been almost zero problems to date and uh, hopefully it'll uh, carry on that way. Well, that's about all for today, guys. Um, we hope you enjoyed watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Whatever you do, have a fantastic day and stay safe. Don't forget, guys, please subscribe, share and like. It does make a huge difference. And Pi and I, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now, guys.